normally you can remove a president from office. Like in Nigeria's case, a president that was elected into the office by the people can be removed by the people. Is there in section 143 of the constitution? <clears throat> and it says that you can remove the president through the House of Assembly. I mean the Senate and the House of Representatives. You will need one third of the members of the house to raise an allegation a notice of allegation against the president that the president is guilty of gross misconduct what is gross misconduct breach or violation of the provisions of the constitution if you can get one third of the people to raise that notice against the president and submit it to the senate president senate president we notify the president that mr man you are there's an allegation against you the Senate President will also ensure that all other members of the House get that notice. <clears throat> That's within seven days. Within 14 days, the House must vote. And you must get two-thirds of, uh, two -third of the House to vote that that allegation should be investigated. If you don't get two-thirds vote, it will, it will be the in here. But once you get two-thirds vote, Senate President will now set up a panel. No, Senate President will tell uh, CJN, Nikwe Ejo, about a set up panel. CJN will now look for five people, uh, seven, I think seven, people <coughs> who he believes are of unquestionable character. Those ones will now sit down, they have 30 days, to come up with a report whether the allegation has been proved or not. If it has not been proved, it will not in here. But if it has been proved that the president is guilty of gross misconduct, the House will now vote again, and they must get two third. Two third of um, the House must vote that they should adopt that report of the panel. Once they adopt it like this, Omoyami, President in here. He stands removed and from that day they adopt that report so you see that while you are campaigning for your president also bear in mind that you need to also get people progressives into the house of assembly because they can do a lot they can actually you know drive the executive arm of the government too. there's another one no? But I'll do that one in the next video. If you like this video, please share with your friends and your loved ones. Peace.